Good day everyone. So this day we shall focus our discussion on the reflection on the plane and then spherical mirrors. But before that, let us talk about first the definition of reflection. Right? So once we speak about reflection, this is what we call as the bouncing back of light into the same medium it has been traveling after striking a surface. We have the flashlight, a ray of light. Uh, moving towards a particular medium or mirror and then makikita po natin na merong reflected ray. Ayan po. So, definitely, once you speak about reflection, they are the bouncing back of light in any object. Ayan po. So, we call this one as the magnification on plane mirror. That the object distance is always equal, image is equal to the height of the object. So, we need to say, Kung halimbawa ang height ng object ay 23 centimeters, yung height din po ng image na na-form sa plane mirror ay 23 din po. 23 centimeters yan. So they would always equal to 1. Meaning to say, whatever is the size of the object will be the size of the image formed inside the mirror. And or would always equal to the image distance from the mirror. Yan. Nakatandaan po natin yan kasi that's really important. Now, some of the few terms that you have to memorize in terms of the concepts of reflection and then the normal line. So, when we speak about the incident ray, we call that as the ray of light approaching the mirror. And when we speak about the reflected ray, this is the ray of light which leaves the mirror. Okay po. So, we are speaking of the incident ray, yung papunta ng object or papunta ng mirror. Okay po. So, papunta ng mirror, yung araw na yan, we call that as an incident ray in yung palabas. And then the distance in between the incident ray and then the reflected ray is what you call as the normal line. So, this is an imaginary line that can be drawn perpendicular to the surface of the mirror at the point of incidence where the ray strikes the mirror. So, these are very important in order for us to move on to the concept of angle of incidence and then the angle of reflection. So, once you speak about the angle of incidence between the incident ray and then the normal line. So, in this kind of scenario, makita po natin, oh. so we have here the, the incident ray and then the normal line. So, the distance in between them is equal, right po, the normal line and then the angle of reflection between the normal line and then the reflected ray. Yan. So, yun po yung pinagkaiba nila sa uh, incident ray and then the reflected ray. Okay, we have two laws of reflection here. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Let's have this, for example, if I say that the angle of incidence would equal to uh, 30 degrees, therefore, the angle of reflection form would also attend the po netting in. All right, going ahead, the number two here, the normal line, incident ray, and then the reflected ray lie on the same plane. We need to say that uh, these three um, rays are actually lying on the same plane or mirror. So, yun po. The thing is, why is the word ambulance written backwards? Bakit po pabaliktad yung um, pagbaybay ng ambulance? Okay, majority of the answer lies because of, of the vehicle's ambulance. Para po mas madali nilang makita ang word na ambulance sa mga side mirrors na muna sa unang aila. Okay po. So, this is also similar to the concept of what you call as the mirror left to right reversal na yung uh, right side ng object is yung left side ng mirror or ng image. Kaya nga po makikita natin yung um, letter A dito na nasa right sa left side po ng mirror. Right side po ng mirror. Kaya po kapag tinignan yan sa side mirror ng mga, ng mga rider or mga driver na they are called as the ambulance. But definitely when you meet this kind of vehicle, one of the things that you should do is syempre to bilance kasi this is more important than any of the urgent concerns that you are having. Okay po, just like yung mga fire trucks natin, mga police cars, uh, they should be given the right of way because they have, uh, sabihin natin, very important uh, emergencies that must be settled other than those regular um, passengers. Ayan. So, going back to the topic of the mirror left right reversal, when we speak about this one, the left side of the object, ang left side halimbawa nitong um, image, na, I mean uh, illustration na ito, will be the right side of the um, image or yung nakikita nyo po sa mirror. And then the right side appears as the left. So that is also similar kapag kayo ay nagharapan ng kaklase mo, dalawa halimbawa kayo, magkaharap kayo. Yung right side mo, 
ay left side ng kaklase mo. And then yung left side mo ay right side ng kaklase mo. And that is how we explain the mirror left-right reversal. And then makikita nyo rin po yan kapag nagsiselfie kayo, no? yung right side mo nagiging left side and then nagbabaliktad kapag hindi mo inan-mirror yung uh, setting sa camera mo. Alright? So, going ahead or moving forward, let us talk about the multiple images. Multiple images can be created in a particular um, instance wherein you use two uh, square or rectangle mirrors. And then depending on the angle, you can produce a series or subinating number of images that are dependent on the angle. So this is formed by the reflex. Formula for this is number of images is equal to 360 degrees over the angle theta minus 1. So meaning to say, limbawa, dito sa example natin, no? if we try to arrange that into 45 degrees, um, 360 divided by 45 degrees minus 1 would equal to 3 images. Ayan po. Kaya po makikita natin dito may 3 images po. Alright. So, yun po yung nangyari dito. Next natin is yung parallel mirrors natin. This can produce infinite number of images when they are tried object at the center of the uh, 2 mirrors. So, yun po yung nangyari dito. So, dalawang, ano, no? dalawang mirrors. Ayan po. And then makikita nyo na po siya into number of infinite images. Uh, ito rin po yung mga konsepto no, sa mga museum kapag kayo ay nagbibisit ng museum na commonly they are um, being used to produce infinite number of images kapag kayo ay nasa gitna ng dalawang mirror. Makikita nyo po yung sarili nyo na napakarami po, depending on the um, capacity of the mirror to produce images up until infinite po yan. Right. Going ahead, we have here two different types of reflection, the what we call as the specular or regular reflection, and then the diffused or irregular reflection. Um, this commonly happens in the rough surfaces. Ayan po. Next one natin ay an example of a specular or regular reflection. And commonly, this is on a smooth surface or sabihin po natin, calm water. Ayan po is what is seen. The object would... Uh, reflect back the image as the same. Ayan po yung nakikita natin dito. Well, in fact, when we talk about the diffused or irregular reflection, this is a reflection of light on rough surfaces such as clothing, paper, wavy water, and an asphalt roadway. So, lahat ng mga shiny objects noon, uh, they have the capacity to reflect back in terms of irregular reflection. So, nag-iiba po yung mga image based from the object. Ayan po yung ating irregular reflection. Now, we have also here reflection on spherical mirrors. Kapag sinabi natin spherical, we call a particular any, um, any section of a sphere that is what you already what we call as the curved mirror. And this is a reflecting surface in which its surface is a section of a sphere. Ayan po, pabilog siya. Okay, there are two kinds of spherical mirrors, the what we call as the concave and then the convex mirror. Kapag sinabi po natin concave mirror, we are speaking of yung pam mo, paharap sa mukha. Then these are the reflect, I mean, these are the incident ray. Papunta po doon sa pam mo. Okay po, paganyan po. Okay, so yun po yung concave mirror. While yung convex naman ay papunta dito yung mga ray of light. Right, so I'm hoping you are getting that. Now, so two kinds of uh, spherical mirrors, they have different properties in terms of their reflection. Okay po, nagkakaiba po sila in terms of two concepts. Uh, the ray mirror, this is a curved mirror in which the reflected surface bulges uh, towards the light source. Okay po, it is called as the converging mirror because uh, they're set at a focal point after reflection. So, yun po yung nangyayari dyan. Concave mirror is converging in nature. While the convex mirror is because the parallel incident rays diverge after reflection. Ayun po yung um, pakatandaan po natin. Those two terms are different from one another. Now, um, next meeting, we shall focus our discussion on the um, the concept of ray diagramming in terms of the convex and then concave mirror. And we shall this in terms of its location, orientation, size, and then the type of the images formed in a particular spherical or curved mirror. So tatandaan po natin yan. You can comment down your questions and I'll try to answer them. Right? So the thing for this day. Thank you so much. Goodbye.